It's homework time! Yes! Hep, 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 hep. Homework time is here yet again. Let's start out the right way. Jot your name down at the top of your paper. I'll write my name. You write yours in. And let's also write today's in Dayton. I'll write today. You write the actual date. How's that? Beauteous! All right. That's an A, really. Okay. Look! A dollar! So today we're going to look at money and decimals and fractions. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so look, there's a dollar and it equals, yes, 100 pennies. Thank the Lord they didn't ask us to draw that. Whew! So those 100 pennies equals, well, one dollar, right? And how would we write one as pennies? Right, it's one and zero hundredths, or we could say 100 hundredths. And notice I'm writing 100 hundredths. You see that? So it, I'm writing the number 100 and it ends in the hundredths place. It's something I've been stressing all along and you see why. And so when I come over here, the tendency here is to get this wrong by writing 100 cents equals one one hundredth of a dollar. Because you're thinking, oh, it's one penny, it's one dollar, but it's a hundred hundredths dollar, isn't it now? It's 100 cents. So 100 one hundredths dollar is one dollar. One hundred one hundredths equals a dollar. And then from here, the rest of them are pretty straightforward. So one penny then, well, that's one hundredth. So we simply place zeros in the ones place and in the tenths place because we just have one hundredth. So one cent is one hundredth, one hundredth dollar. Three cents, three pennies works the same way. We say, hey, we have no ones or tens, but we have three in the hundredths place. Three cents, three hundredths. Cent means hundredth, if I didn't emphasize that enough already. <laughs> cent means hundredth, so three cents is three hundredths. Three cents equals three hundredths, just said it. Twenty pennies, this is going to look a little different, but not really, because we're going to say, okay, well, we have no ones here, but we have twenty cents. So I'm going to write 20 so that it ends in the hundredth place. 20 hundredths, 20 cents, 20 pennies, 20 cents equals 20 hundredths of a dollar. Isn't it beautiful when things make sense? All right, 37 is going to work the same way. We have no ones, and then we have 37. We're in the hundredths place. 37 hundredths, 37 cents, 37 hundredths, 37 hundredths dollar. Pretty straightforward stuff here, huh? Boom, let's move on. Ho, ho, you know what I just noticed? Look, look at the dollar there. George Washington is smiling at you. He's like winking. Let's give him angry eyebrows. And horns. We have nothing against George Washington. We're just having some fun. Okay, anyway, so one dollar is, what? Is 10 dimes? Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 cents is one dollar. So we can think of a dollar as 10 dimes. And so here in number sixes through tenses, we are going to deal with dimes. So 10 dimes. Now think about it. There's a picture of them right there. How much is it? It's one dollar. In fact, we could even, we to be totally accurate, we not just saying that one dollar is 10 cents, but that 10 cents is a dollar. Make that arrow go both ways. So 10 dimes is 100 hundredths. It is one whole. It is 10 tenths. Oh, look, and that's what's here. 100 cents, right? 10 dimes is 100 cents, which is 10 tenths of a dollar. 10 dimes, 10 tenths. So when we say tenths, we can think dimes in terms of money. Two dimes then, okay, well, so that's not one whole. It is two tenths. And we have no hundredths because that's how we write money. There's a dollar sign here. 20 cents. Ooh, now that's a little tricky now. If we write 20 tenths, hmm, 20 tenths would be $2, wouldn't it? That would be 20 dimes. Do we have 20 dimes? Oh, no, 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 no. We have two dimes. We have two tenths of a dollar, okay? See how it's a little tricky? You might be tempted to write 20 there. Four dimes. Okay, well, that's how much money? 40 cents. We know how to write 40 cents, right? 40 cents. 40 hundredths. Okay, so 40 cents is 40 hundredths of a dollar, but it's four dimes, four tenths of a dollar. Four out of the ten dimes you'd need to make a dollar. 
Same thing with six dimes. It's 60 cents. Same exact thing here for these next two. 60 cents is six tenths of a dollar. Not 60 tenths, it's 60 hundredths because it's 60 cents. Nine dimes, likewise, it's not a whole dollar. It's 90 cents, 90 hundredths, 90 cents. There it is, nine tenths of a dollar. Nine out of the 10 dimes you need to make a dollar. Beautiful. Look, we already did 10 questions. We are carousing. Let's move on. Well, it's a little different here because we're dealing with quarters. One dollar, happy George, is four quarters, right? And we can think of this as well in terms of uh, fraction world as four. You don't have to write this. I'm just showing you four quarters. Isn't that how we could read that? Four fourths, four quarters equals one whole, equals one whole. All right, we can write it in as a decimal as, you know, 0 0.00. All right, so beautiful. All right, I'll leave that there. All right, so three quarters. Let's think about it. We see right here it's 75 cents, although you may have known that. So we know how to write 75 cents. We write 75 out to the hundredths place because cents means hundredths. 75 cents, 75 cents is how many hundredths? 75 cents is 75 hundredths. Cents means hundredths. Two quarters. Well, they give us the answer right there. It's 50 cents. So we write that as 50 cents, 50 hundredths. 50 cents equals 50. We just said it, hundredths of a dollar. Cents means hundredths. Four quarters now, that's the whole dollar. We can see from our happy little picture here that that is one dollar and zero cents. One hundred cents, this is a tricky one. You might be tempted to write something like, four hundredths of a dollar, but no, it's the whole dollar. It's 100 cents, isn't it? Those four quarters. It is. 100 one hundredths, in other words, one dollar. See how this says, if you read this, ignore the decimal point for a minute. 100, we're in the hundredths place. 100 one hundredths, 100 one hundredths. One quarter now we see is 25 cents, and we know how to write that. 25 cents, 25 hundredths. 25 cents is 25, just said it, hundredths of a dollar. Uh, yeah. All right, let's finish out. And here's how I'd like to do these where we are instructed to solve, give the total amount of money in fraction and decimal form. We can start out doing each component part in fraction form to the hundredths, okay? Express it as hundredths. So five dimes is how many cents? 50 cents, right? So 50 cents means 50 hundredths, okay? And there we are in fraction form. And then we have with that eight pennies, which is eight cents. Very good. And we put them together, we get 58 cents, 58 hundredths. Because now it's uh, pretty straightforward to write that in decimal form, is it? Yeah, it is. We know how to write 58 hundredths as a decimal like that. Beautiful. Same thing here. And, and watch, they will, of course, get a little more complicated. They always start off easy and get more difficult. It's the way the world works. All right, so three quarters is how much money? 75 cents, that's the value of it. 75 cents, 75 hundredths, and then we have 13 pennies, which we know obviously is 13 cents, 13 hundredths. Can you add those together? Well, here you could do it backwards. 75 and 10 is 85, 85 and three is 88, very good. So it's 88 cents, 88 hundredths, which we can that's right, right as a decimal, 0 0.88, 88 hundredths. Yes, yeah, yes. Let's do the same thing with the next one. You can see probably just glancing at this that we're going over a dollar here, so we'll have to think just a little bit more. Three quarters, well, we just did that. It's 75 hundredths, 75 cents. Seven dimes is 70 cents, right? 70 hundredths. And then we have 16 pennies, which obviously is 16 cents, 16 hundredths. And when you add all these together, we can do it in column addition form if you like here, so you can see it clearly. All right, five and zero and six make 11. Drop the one there. Regroup that one. Uh, I'm going to do it out of order. Seven and seven I see are, yep, 14, 15, 16. So it's 161 cents, 161 hundredths, which as a mixed number, how would we write that? 
yeah, we take out the 100, 100s, decompose that there, and that's one whole, leaving 61 hundredths. And now if you read that as a mixed number, it tells you how to write it as a decimal. One and 61 hundredths. So one and is decimal point 61 out to the hundredths place. Beautiful. And then our last one here for this little set, 187 cents is what fraction of a dollar. Well, there's a couple ways of thinking about this. Like, write it, because our instructions still hold to write it in both fraction and decimal form. 187 cents means I'm going to write out the number 187 to the hundredth place. 187. And placing the decimal point here, see how the seven is now in the hundredths place? 187 hundredths, 187 cents, which is one and 87 Hundreds. Ah, oh, so that's our fraction right there. All right, we could write it as 187 hundredths as a fraction, but we, when we read the decimal form, 1 and 87, where are we? Hundredths. 1 and 87 hundredths. Ha 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 ha. Let's go finish out this homework time. Ha ha. La la la. Well, yeah, we're going to solve, and now we only have to express the answer in decimal form. And you notice what happens here um, in most of these, they make it pretty straightforward. Because look, we're in work in decimal form. So one dollar is one whole. There's my decimal point, right? Two dimes means two tenths, so a two in the tenths place. But then we have 13 pennies. Okay, so let me put those together. So one and two tenths. And the 13 pennies is 13 hundredths, right? 13 cents. So how much do I have in this first add end? Can you add those up in your head? All right, we can see that. It's 1 and 33 hundredths. And if you don't see that, you could write it as, uh, I'll just do it very quickly here, 1 and 2 tenths we know is 1 and 20 hundredths plus 13 hundredths, you can look at it this way, as 1 and 33 hundredths, which is what I wrote here. Yes, I'm explaining everything. Deal. And this one is actually even easier, so we're going to add to this 1 and 33 hundredths, a dollar 33 cents. We're going to add to that 2 dollars and 3 quarters, so that's 2 dollars and 3 quarters. We know we just did it is, right, 75 cents. So now when we add these together, uh, we can do it different ways. One way they haven't taught us is just to add them kind of vertically the way you normally do. Um, so let me show you that. This is not necessarily the Eureka math way. Um, all I have to do though is be sure that I have my place values aligned properly when I add this way. So the one is in the ones place, so is the two. My decimal points are in the same place, my tenths and hundredths. And so once you have that, Insured, then you can just simply add. So 8, 7, 3 are 10, regroup that 1, 1, 2, and 1, make 4. Don't forget the decimal point there. So that is 4, I can actually put a dollar sign there, 4 dollars, 8 cents. The other way to do it is I could do it this way in mixed number form, and we'll mix it up here. I want to make sure you understand this stuff, by the way, so don't leave me comments saying, you drink too much tea. I know I do. And you talk too much. I'm explaining it to you. If you don't want to hear me explain it, then just go to your homework. <laughs> just kidding. All right, two dollars six times is two dollars is two holes, right? Six times is how many cents? Sixty cents. So sixty cents, sixty hundredths. Okay, we're gonna add to that. And let's be a little smarter about it this time because we see we have two quarters and sixteen pennies. So we have two dollars and two quarters, which is, let's work in fraction form so you can see clearly, two dollars and fifty cents, fifty hundredths. And then we have with that sixteen pennies, which is sixteen cents, sixteen hundredths. When we put these two together, we see we get two and fifty plus sixteen is, yes, sixty-six hundredths. So in decimal form, this would be two and 66 hundredths. See that? Okay. And now let's go back to fraction form to add the $2.60. We're going to add 2 
and 60 hundredths, okay? And notice our instructions don't say we have to do the whole thing in decimal form, just to express the answer in decimal form, which we, surely we shall. We'll put it up here. All right, but let's put these together. 2 and 2 make 4. 66 and 60, well, 60 and 60, you may know, are 120. And with another 6 is 126, 126 hundredths. And I'll break down every little step of this for you. So that's 4 and, well, 100 hundredths is the one whole leaving 26 hundredths. So together, and we can write our answer, well, we'll write it here. Four and one make five, and we have 26 hundredths, which is easy to place then in a decimal form. It is five and 26 out to the hundredths place. See how it works? And this is breaking down every last little step of the thinking process here. All right, so let's do eight dollars, eight dimes. You see we don't have any kind of regrouping or anything going on there. So it's eight poles and eight dimes is 80 cents. And with that, well, we can see we have something going on here we need to take care of. We can see we have seven dollars and one quarter. Okay, so that's 25 cents. So we can say seven dollars, 25 cents, 25 hundredths. And then we have eight dimes. Well, that's eight tenths, right? but we need hundreds. We can say that, well, eight tenths, eight dimes is 80 cents. And then put these together. So we have seven holes still, 25 and 80. Well, 80 and 20 or 100. Five more make 105. And we're still talking about hundreds. And then again, we're gonna break this down into each little step. So it's seven and, well, 100 hundredths is one whole, which leaves how many hundredths? five hundredths. So seven and one are eight, and then we have five hundredths. So when we write this as a decimal now to add them together. It's eight, yes, but not 8.5. It's eight and five hundredths. So the five goes in the hundredths place. There are no tenths. That's why we place this zero here and then say we have five hundredths. Okay, so now we put these together. We can actually add these pretty well. 8 and 8 are 16. 80 cents and 5 cents? 85 cents. There we go. Express that answer as a decimal. And look what you went and done. You did it. That's it. You complete another homework time. Nice work. So I'll see you again next time. It is once again homework time.